So I was playing with something fun the other day, and I remember um, seeing Luke do some operations with grep and just the cool stuff that grep can do, like um, pulling out uh, patterns that's found in a text document and returning those in, you know, turning the lines where those patterns are found, but also doing a small amount of syntax highlighting and why that might actually be better than um, a cat or head or something or whatever. But... I found a really great use for it, at least for me, just you know, something interesting. So because I write R markdown documents for everything or markdown notes for everything, all the headers begin with the hashtag or pound symbol. Uh, so if we search for that pattern, we could easily just see the entire structure of the document for all of the headers. And so what I was thinking of was um, I have my research document right now I'm making for my uh, Viking burial site, and I have the RMD. So I'm going to grep all of the hash symbols out of dot .rmd, and I'm going to see all the headings. Oh, I think it's file first and then pattern. Normally I'm just used to piping into grep. Do, do, do. I don't know. Did I break something? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it is patterns file. So I don't know why it didn't work at first. Oh, maybe I needed it in uh, double quotes. Oh, because it's the escaped character. It's one of those uh, bash characters. Duh. So, Viking Research RMD. So this way, it returns, and you can see it highlights in red all of those characters. Now, this will show me the entire document structure of the entire document because all the headers are done with the pound symbols in our markdown instead of something like LaTeX where it's you know section, subsection, sub-subsection, where it's a little bit less... Uh, consistent. So in this case, all these header areas, I can see the entire structure of my document. And if it was super long, you know, given this terminal, I could just use the alt keys and I could scroll through that, but I could see the entire structure of the document. This is if you want to do it in the terminal. I mean, if you're going to do it in our studio, you have this whole thing right here where the document headers and are just right here. But you know, if you're doing something simple or just writing something and not in code, I said that if I'm not writing specifically writing code for something or creating visualizations or plots, uh, I'm usually writing R Markdown with Vim like this, so just like I would an ordinary Markdown document. Um, yeah, so I can see the entire structure of my document. I just thought this was pretty cool because this way it's just you know quick overview. Grab the pound symbol out of the document. There's your entire document structure. So that's all.